One of my big secrets to looking great as I approach 60, 60 in four weeks, has actually been a series of face and neck exercises that I learned from my grandmother many years ago. So today's video a little bit different because I'm going to be sharing all of those face and neck exercises in a compilation or series of videos that I put together that I've done in the past. Many of you have been asking me for this, a way to learn all of those different exercises in one place and also to be able to follow along with me as you learn to do them. So rather than have you guys dig around on my channel, which has about 1,100, 1,200 videos, I have taken the videos that are specific to face and neck lifting exercises and put them together for you as one video with chapters so that you can skip around, come back to areas that you feel are important to you and get the absolute most out of these exercises just like I have. So all I ask is that you actually go through and watch each of these video segments so that you don't miss anything so that you absolutely know which ones will be specifically effective for you. Three and a half years of time is condensed into this video so you tell me do I look better today than I did when I started do I look the same let me know down in the comments below what if you could tone tighten and lift your face and neck without spending a penny well I have five yoga facial exercises that will help you do just that in today's video yeah. well hey all welcome back I know that the video we're doing today on these yoga exercises, you guys have been wanting to see it for a while. Ever since I did the neck exercise or the neck pose in this video right here, how to skin care for the neck. It's been a big deal. And I really appreciate all of you guys that went and did the challenge or took the challenge from that video, did the exercises and then came back and let us know in the comments how well they worked for you. Really, really appreciate you doing that. That said, if you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, I'm Chris. I'm a skincare expert. I've been doing this for 34 years, helping people like you find skincare that will work for them, not empty their wallet, and not do more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content that you've been looking for here on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you know when my new videos are out every week. Now the neck lifting exercise that I've demonstrated before on the channel that works so well has been around in my life for a very, very long time. I learned about yoga from my grandmother way back in the 1970s when I was growing up. She stayed with us and she was doing all these weird, contortionate looking exercises in between the times that she was in the kitchen cooking our breakfast. And you know, I had to ask because in my family, there are two eccentric people. First was my grandmother two generations ago, and now me, because I do YouTube and I travel all over and my family just doesn't always understand that. But my grandmother, I loved her very much. Obviously, I asked her, what are you doing? And she said, I am doing yoga exercises so that I stay healthy and energetic. And I got to thinking about this the other day when I went to put this video together. Yeah, that was in the early 1970s. I was nine years old. That means that she was in her late 50s, 57 or 58, like I am now. Scary stuff. I guess life does come full circle. Now, she learned her yoga exercises from this book right here, which is quite old. It is Forever Young, Forever Healthy. It is by Indira Devi, and it was published first in 1953. Man, I am getting old. Now, my grandmother actually put a passage in this book in 1971, assuming the book would get handed down. And I am sure she had no idea that here in 2021, I would be talking about this on YouTube. But I love that she wrote this in the book. You can see right there. She signed it 1971. She said, May this book always help the reader as it has helped me. So Graham, you are helping a lot of people here on YouTube. Now, it was actually some years later when I was really getting to health and wellness that I actually took yoga, did it every morning, five days a week at 6 a.m. And that is where I learned the neck lifting technique that I've been using just sort of second nature to me for my whole life ever since. Now, there are several great channels here on YouTube that teach yoga which I will link to below in the video description box so that you guys can check them out for further information and lessons on how to do yoga overall. Because when you think about it, as I've said before, I've known people that practice yoga for a lifetime. 
celebrities, what have you, and they don't have loose skin anywhere. So, you know, yoga does work in toning and helping the muscles of the body stay in shape. So I'm a big believer in it. The results sort of speak for themselves, but let's talk about what are these facial yoga exercises and the science behind them of why they work. So facial yoga exercises, which is what we're gonna focus on in today's video because that's what my channel's really about, you know, skincare, your face and all of that, are a technique consisting of facial exercises and massage that help to tone and strengthen the muscles under the skin and help the lymphatic system drain away excess fluids, you know, puffiness that you get in your face and under your eyes. These exercises will help all of that. So by isolating these muscles, we actually can help tighten and lift the jawline and the neck, help reduce the amount of wrinkling on the face from dynamic wrinkles, becoming static wrinkles like forehead wrinkles and plumping up the lips. And it also helps improve the superficial circulatory system in your skin to bring more oxygen and nutrients. And also again, help drain those extra fluids that tend to build up in the face as we get older. Now I know there are some people out there that poo poo, as they like to say, these types of exercises because they don't understand how that can help the skin. But in my personal experience, toning and strengthening the muscles of the body as we get older helps reduce that muscle loss that leads to sagging skin in the first place. Now it is very, very important to note here that we are not stretching out the skin. In fact, it's very important that you do not stretch the skin in these exercises. And a hint I will give you is that when you first start learning them, it's really great to apply a very creamy, hydrating moisturizer to the skin so that you can better feel the muscle under the skin, it's more sensitive to it. And it also helps prevent any stretching that might occur as you learn these techniques. Now, I also wanted to mention here the science behind why these exercises work and the fact that there have been studies done actual studies, and I will link to those actual studies down below in the video description box as well, so you can click on those and read them yourself, of how muscle stimulation really does improve the look and health of our skin. These studies have proven that these types of exercises help improve the volume around the lips, keep volume in the cheek areas, tighten the jawline and neck, which of course I already knew, but it also helps stimulate collagen production, helping to reduce fine lines, wrinkles, and those deeper crow's feet and forehead lines. So there really is no risk to doing this for yourself and it doesn't cost anything to try it. So what are these skin fabulous exercises that we're gonna be doing today? Well, we're gonna be targeting the forehead, the jawline, the mid face, nasolabial lines, which I know a lot of you have issues with, lips, and of course, my now famous neck pose that help tighten and lift the skin around the neck. All right, so forehead lines. This exercise addresses the lines that we get on our forehead. Now, I don't have a lot of lines on my face, good skincare practice for many, many years since I was 23, and I'm sure that some of this also comes from the fact that I take very good care of myself physically, try to work out and eat right. So all of it does come together, but these exercises are designed to help reduce the static wrinkles that happen on the forehead above the eyebrows. Very easy exercise to perform, targeting the muscles that create the dynamic wrinkles when we raise our eyebrows on our forehead. We're gonna place our fingertips right on the brow, right above the eyebrows and try to lift them you will feel all those muscles contract. We want to do this for a count of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then relax and let go. Take a couple of breaths and do this exercise five to 10 times. All right, you guys are going to love this next one because it does target the lips, the whole of the lip area, providing more volume strength around the lip area. It also helps kind of smooth out those fine lines and wrinkles that we tend to get right here. Very, very simple to do. All right, so the way you do this particular exercise, and you probably want to do it where no one's looking because it really does make you look funny, is you're going to make duck lips. You know that duck lip thing that went on on the internet forever on Instagram? That's what you're going to be doing, but you're also going to be placing your thumbs under your lower lip and your index fingers above your top lip, and you're going to be pressing down, not squeezing, not stretching the skin, but pressing down as you push your lips away and out from your face. So this is how we do this. It's going to be for a count of six. This one is also five to 10 times, but let's demonstrate it.
and then you relax. And again, five to 10 times when you do this exercise as well. Okay. This next yoga exercise is going to target the jawline and it's very, very effective. You will feel this one in the muscles of your jaw. All right, the way we perform the technique for the jawline is to look at the ceiling and point our chin to it. You're gonna feel a little tightening right there when you do this. Now you don't wanna go too far back. We don't wanna stretch. You shouldn't feel this in your neck or your lower neck, just right here. Just as soon as you hit it right, you will feel it. And then you're going to purse your lips for a count of six. And then you're gonna relax. And you're gonna do that five to 10 times as well. You will really feel, that's when I always feel a whole lot. You will really feel this pose working those muscles. It works very well. Just make sure that you're not using the neck muscles. You wanna be sure you're using these jawline muscles so that you get the maximum benefit out of this technique. <clears throat> All right, so what about cheeks, nasal labial lines, and mid face? This exercise, again, is very simple. We're going to do it for a count of six, five to 10 times. What you're going to do is relax your face. You're going to purse your lips and place your index fingers on the corners of your mouth. And as you push your lips out, you're going to pull. So you're going to create a tension from the cheek area down to the upper lip area. You will feel this again when you do the exercise correctly. And this is what we do. We do this right here, right? Notice where my fingers are right on the inside of my cheekbones. and relax very simple and you will feel this whole entire area the muscles in the cheekbones and to upper jaw get a full workout this will help lift and plump out the cheeks and it will help tighten the skin between your ear and your outer cheekbone is a really great technique for lifting the entire mid face and now for the yoga technique that i've been using it seems like my whole life long to help keep neck skin tight it helps deal with the double chin area it helps pull back and even out the skin around the platysmal lines and get rid of those vertical lines that tend to show up as we get older. It's a very, very simple exercise. You're going to relax and look forward. So again, for a count of 10. And then you're gonna relax. And then you're gonna do each side the same way. And you can see how it tightens all of the muscles in my neck. And then relax. And then we're going to do it this way. And then relax. Now, even though we are holding the count for this particular exercise longer than the others, you still want to do it about five to 10 times. I would recommend on all of these that you guys start off light if you've not been doing them. Like any muscle, when you work it that you haven't been working before, it can get very sore. So this is the same for the face and the neck. You want to go slow, perhaps every other day, the first couple of weeks, just do it five times and then work your way up to the 10. What you will notice after about a month of doing these exercises consistently is a tightening and lifting of the entire face, less static wrinkles left behind after dynamic movements like crow's feet and forehead wrinkles. Definitely going to see improvement for any sort of double chin or saggy jowl skin that you have going on. And you're going to help that lymphatic system drain out that excess fluid, removing puffiness. You're just going to look younger and healthier. This is really a great non-invasive way to augment all the other things that you're doing, like your skincare routine, wearing sunscreen. You're going to be giving your face and your skin a great workout. If you've been looking for a more sculpted look for your jawline or a firmer, tighter look for your neck and under your chin, facial yoga just might be the answer for you. But today's anti-aging facial yoga exercises are to target three areas, the area of the jaw, under the chin, and the skin of the neck. Now, if you happen to be watching this and you're new and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris, I'm a skincare expert, been doing this stuff for 34 years, here to help you find skincare that will work for you, not empty your wallet, and not do you more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content you've been looking for here on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell so that you don't miss my videos when they come out every week. Now, the great thing about facial yoga exercises is that you don't need anything special. No special music, no special outfit, or special environment. Really? 
Just a little bit of practice and you'll be well on your way to firmer future skin. Now when doing yoga facial exercises, it's always a good idea to apply a layer of moisturizer to your skin. We want the skin to stay very hydrated because we're actually working the muscles underneath the skin and want to avoid as much stretching of the actual skin as possible so we're able to get the most benefit out of these exercises. First, we're gonna do the technique to tighten up the area of the upper jaw to the chin, jowls, as they're more lovely called, to give you some idea of how much impact the tone of the muscles along the jawline and chin have on the underneath of your chin, on the neck and the upper chest. I'm gonna do a simple test with you guys. Take your fingers and place them just on the jawbone, just on the jawbone, and then just lift up about half an inch. You can feel how much of the skin of the neck and upper chest is lifted and tightened. So it doesn't take very much toning to get an overall improvement in that area. So the first technique that we're gonna do is to lift the chin toward the ceiling just enough to feel these muscles tighten, but not stretch the skin of the neck. Then we're gonna hold that while we purse our lips out for a count of six. And then we're gonna relax and we're going to repeat it. Now we'll be doing this exercise with you. You can do it right now or you can pause the video if you need to get in a different space, but here we go. Just till we feel this muscles tighten right here. And then we purse the lips. For a count of six. And then we lower our chin and relax. We want to relax for about a count of 10. We don't want to do these in repetition, one right after the other. We want to give those muscles a chance to fully relax so that when we do this again, we get more effect and benefit from the actual exercise. So it was one more time. And relax. Now, when first starting out with any type of yoga exercise, facial yoga included, it's a good idea to start off kind of light and easy. So you want to do maybe three of these, maybe five. No more than five the first week, and you want to do them every single day. Working your way up to 10 times in a session per day, at least for the first month. Then you can cut back the second month to three times a week. Next, we're going to work to tighten and firm the area under the chin and the skin of the neck. Now, this has been my go-to yoga technique that I've used for, well, let's see, I'm 58 now, started when I was 23, 35 years I've been doing this particular technique. And I would say that it has benefited me very, very well. Thank you, Graham. Now, it is a deceptively easy yoga pose to do once you get the hang of it, but it is super, super effective. It helps to tighten the skin just under the chin and also to lift and smooth the skin of the neck, including platysmal lines and those lines that we all get around the neck as we get older. Again, very important to work the muscles underneath the skin and not stretch the skin itself. The muscles from our neck up to our chin, up to our face, up to our brow, have what are known as twitch fibers. That's what helps humans show so much emotion on our faces, twitch fibers, which means that those muscles are designed to be worked and then to relax very quickly. Just try to hold a smile in a mirror more than about 30 seconds. You can't do it. The muscles get very tired. That's why we don't want to do these one right after the other, after the other, after the other. We want to let the muscles relax. We want to contract and relax, contract and relax in order to build up and tone those muscles. So as I said, very easy technique to do once you get the hang of it, but it may take a little practice to get it just right. You want to relax and look forward. Then you want to, again, lift your face up while you constrict the swallow muscles. So it's almost like so it's almost like swallowing a glass of water as you look up towards the ceiling. And again, we wanna stop when we start to feel the skin begin to stretch, that's too far. So I'm gonna demonstrate it now. We're gonna hold this one a little bit longer for a count of 10, then we're going to relax and repeat it. All right, so let's do this one. and relax. Now what you should feel when you do this pose correctly is a tightening of all the muscles up under around the esophagus and underneath the jaw. 
That's actually gonna be giving you the most toning benefit from this particular pose, but we're not done yet. Now we have to do it looking off to the left and then the right. So I'm gonna demonstrate this for you next, both sides. And relax. Again, a count of 10 in between is really good practice. Gives your body a chance to relax, all those muscles to re-relax. And now we'll do the right side. And relax. So very simple, takes a little practice. You wanna do that set of exercises three to five times in the beginning every single day, working your way up to 10 times if you can, and then you can back down the amount of days to about three times a week after the first month. And I will tell you, most people begin to see the benefits of these yoga poses in a week. Just the first week, they begin to notice that the skin is becoming tighter and firmer under the chin, the neck, and along the jawline. Now with anti-aging facial yoga exercises, Consistency is the key, just like in anything we talk about that has to do with skincare, whether it's a product or anything else. It's gonna take some time. However, I can tell you, bodies respond very quickly to physical fitness. So you can see a lot more benefit out of these exercises as compared to some sort of skincare product. And when you combine this with a really well thought out anti-aging skincare routine, like we talk about here on the channel, you can get some really superb benefits. This stuff has benefited me for the last 35 years, and I'm always so excited and happy to share things with you guys that actually work. There's proof, you can see it on the camera. It's amazing stuff. Nothing contributes more to the signs of facial aging than the loss of facial volume. Sagging cheeks, sagging jawline. But the good news is there are some facial exercises, yoga exercises, if you will, that can really truly help lift all these areas and roll back the clock on the look of your face. And I'm gonna teach you how to do them in today's video. Okay, so today we're talking about volume loss in the face and it happens to everyone as we get older. We lose some of the subcutaneous fat in our face. We lose collagen. We lose some of the elasticity in our elastin fibers. And most often it is the loss of actual bone in our faces as we age that causes that change in our looks, the way fat is distributed and the way muscles work in our face. And it's interesting that while over the years there has been a lot of focus on building muscle, maintaining muscle as we get older in the body, which can actually firm up the body and raise loose skin. It's not a whole lot of focus on what you can do in the face, but facial yoga does work. My grandmother did it many, many years ago. I'm 58. I've been practicing several of these exercises throughout my life, especially when it comes to the area of the neck, the jaw, the cheeks, and the forehead. Now I have a whole video on that particular set of exercises. So if you missed that one, don't worry. I will link to it down below in the video description box. But today we're gonna focus on a mixture of yoga moves and pressure points on the face to help lift and tone the cheeks, right here, and the jawline. Simple exercises to do. I'm going to do them with you, so get relaxed. These are very simple. You wanna make sure that you try to do them at least once a day, three or four days a week. It's better if you just do them every day and they become part of your toning routine. But I can tell you from firsthand experience, you're looking at it, and the experience of clients over the years, these exercises absolutely do work. Now, one thing that's important to note is we do not want to stretch the skin, this is not about the surface area of the skin, this is working those muscles underneath. So it can be very helpful to apply a moisturizer before you do these exercises, just so that your skin has some hydration and is a bit slippery so we don't stretch those skin cells. We don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna apply a light layer of moisturizer that's gonna absorb into my skin really quickly. Now this is Neutrogena's Hydro Boost for extra dry skin. It's got hyaluronic acid. So this keeps my face hydrated during the entire session. First area we're gonna work on are 
the cheeks. Now the muscles along the cheeks actually attach over here just toward the corner of the eye and go all the way almost to the nose. So we're gonna take our four fingertips on each side. This is what I call the eight finger facelift because that's what it is. So you just place them along that ridge, the orbital ridge right above that muscle and you can just kind of move the muscle up and down a little and you'll feel it. So index finger right there on the corner of the eye, little finger right beside the nose and the other two fingers right across the top of that cheekbone or cheek muscle. And then you're simply going to lift the cheek muscle up against your fingertips while holding slight, very light pressure. We don't wanna like bruise our cheeks and we don't wanna stretch the skin. So we're gonna do this now. And then let it go. And then raise it again. And then let it go. You can do that exercise four to five times a day. This will literally take you five or six minutes to perform every day. And over the course of a couple of weeks, you will build the volume, firmness, and toning of that particular muscle underneath the cheek skin. Now we know that performing facial muscle exercises can add one quarter to one third of an inch of muscle tissue underneath the skin in six weeks weeks. So it doesn't take a long time. Now that doesn't sound like a lot of muscle, right? It doesn't. But when you think about how little muscle growth it takes to move the skin on the face, and I'm going to show you how to test this. It's really quite amazing what these simple exercises can do. To show you this, take your fingertips and place them just lightly on the jawbone and lift up about a fourth of an inch and you will feel all of the skin on your neck raise. So it doesn't take a lot of toning to get a really great result with this. Now, speaking of the jawline, let's do those exercises. Same type of principle. We're going to place our fingertips across the muscle that's attached to the jaw bone. And we're gonna place a little bit of pressure and perform a similar type of exercises. We're gonna hold it for a count of five and you can do four to five of these per session per day. So place your thumb right underneath that jaw bone at the very end and the four fingers left on each side right to the chin. So we've covered that muscle and we're going to purse our lips and push upward with the muscle, not stretch the skin, just the muscle. And relax. And relax. and relax one more time and relax with both of these simple exercises you will feel the pull and strengthening of the muscle along the jawbone and the muscle under the eye this also helps eliminate a lot of the bagging and hollow looking areas under the eyelid as it helps stimulate circulation and also collagen growth. Two simple exercises that over time can roll back five to 10 years off the look of your face and you didn't spend a dime on skincare and you didn't go under the knife. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. You know, the neck is an area that tends to show aging first and a lot of people don't like it and I get it. As a skincare expert, I really totally get it. That said, if you happen to be new to my channel and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson, a skincare expert. I've been doing skincare for 36 years, helping people like you, finding ways to improve your skin without emptying your wallet and doing more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content and videos that you've been looking for here on YouTube, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. But the good news is there are some things you can do, some exercises and massages to the neck area that can help reverse the signs of aging and prevent them from getting worse or occurring in the first place. How do I know this? Well, I'm gonna be 60 in eight weeks and you can see my neck does not show much of any signs of aging. Now, part of that is good skincare practice and certainly a part of that is that I've been ultra disciplined when it comes to applying sunscreen. However, when we're talking about the physical structure, of our neck, the strength of the muscles underneath the skin that hold everything in place, those elastin fibers, and yes, to some degree, the amount of collagen we have, those things all come together to produce how old our neck looks and all of them can be addressed. So today I'm going to be sharing with you, teaching you some exercises that you can do and some massages that you can do in succession that can really make a big difference in the tightness, the tautness, and the youthfulness of how the upper chest, neck, and jawline look. 
This first exercise actually helps improve superficial circulation, getting that much needed oxygen and nutrients to your skin cells. It also helps encourage collagen production. During this exercise, it's extremely important that the skin be slippery or hydrated so we don't actually stretch the surface skin while we're doing this exercise. Now, I personally like to use skincare oils. That's an almond oil. You can even use olive oil, any type of facial oil, argan oil, rosehip oil, doesn't matter as long as the skin is hydrated hydrated and slippery. I'm going to be using almond oil for this exercise. Just put that on my fingers and just going to lightly massage that into the neck. Like so. Then we're going to take these two fingers on each hand and our thumb and we're going to start at the bottom of the neck just above the collarbone and we're going to pinch and roll. Pinch and roll. Now we're not pinching to the point where you can feel pain. We are pinching to move those muscles just underneath the skin. Then we just move a little to the side and we go up. This is very relaxing, by the way. We go all the way to just under the ear. You can do this a couple of times. You can probably see the pink color of the skin of my neck as we increase that superficial circulation. Again, just under the jawline and up to under the ears. This next neck exercise, it's actually a yoga pose I'm gonna be teaching you is something that's been the subject of several videos here on the channel. If you're really liking these exercises today, I encourage you to check out that video. I will link to it down below in the video description box because it also includes exercises for the face, forehead, cheekbones, and jawline. All right, we wanna assume a relaxed pose, shoulders down, everything relaxed. We're gonna look forward first, and then we're gonna lift our chin up towards the ceiling. While we use the swallowing muscles, you can also purse your lips out, as you'll see here in just a second, to help work and lift all of those muscles just under the skin from the collarbone to the jawbone, and you will feel this when you do it. And you hold to a count of five, and then relax. Then we're gonna do it to the left, the same thing. And relax. And then we're gonna do it to my right, same thing. And relax. Again, this can be done a couple of times before we move on to the next exercise, but not necessary because again, all of these in succession are giving you the massage and neck work out that you need to have a tighter, more youthful looking neck. This third one, it is a keystone exercise in this series making up this session. And we're simply gonna do a very gentle neck roll to help release tension and tightness in the jaw and neck. The correct way to do this neck roll exercise is to keep your focus forward as you do it. Three times around to the right three times around to the left. When you first do this exercise, it is completely natural to feel that actual tension in your neck as you do it, that tightness. You may even kind of hear in your ears like a crinkling paper sound because those muscles don't get used quite in that way for most of us. We're on our phones all day, computers, laptops, what have you, watching TV. The neck muscles often don't get the workout they need to improve that circulation. This could also be very helpful with tension headaches. This next neck age reversing exercise, super simple. We're gonna need a little more oil or more moisturizer and you'll see why here in just a second we're going to be doing a sweep massage on the neck using our fingertips from the collarbone upward to the jawbone now for some of you this will be more comfortable for some of you this will be more comfortable whatever works for you you can do it one hand at a time or you can do both upward and outward and upward and outward and upward and outward and upward and outward outward and upward and outward and upward and outward and upward and outward we want to do this 10 times and upward and outward upward and outward upward and outward 
upward and outward. That really felt good. I think the amazing thing about the sweet massage is that it really works those tiny muscles right above the collarbone that travel all the way up. It really helps reduce and improve the horizontal lines that a lot of us get, necklace lines. So don't be surprised if after doing these exercises consistently for a week or so, you don't see a vast improvement in the look of those lines. This next exercise, again, really simple. We're gonna use the palm of our hands. We're gonna place the lower part of the palm just under the jawline and we're gonna massage upward and outward. We're gonna start at the chin, work all the way to the ear. I'm gonna do that three to five times. Very easy to find the right placement. Your jawbone should fit just above the fat pads on your hands and we're gonna go upward and outward. And you're gonna feel that lift the entire neck area. Start again. And one more time. And there you have it, a more lifted, tighter neck, jaw, and chest, all from just a few simple exercises, easy to learn. You can even watch this video over again and follow along as much as you need to. Again, doing this daily, either at night before resting or first thing in the morning is best, although three to four times a week is perfectly fine. All right, so here they all are. You have this video, save the link, favorite it, share it out, like it, do what you have to, to come back to it and use it over and over again until you feel very comfortable with the exercises. And I've picked out a neck skin care video coming up next right here. Thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. I really do appreciate you. Stay beautiful, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you over on that next video.